Monday, October 5th. I'm Tom Novak. This is your Bring Me the News and Novak weather update. Uh, just an incredible weather pattern that we have been experiencing here, not only here in the first five days of October, but now as we get into this second week and into the middle portions of October, we got a roller coaster ride going on where we're going from unusually cold weather to now what's going to be an unusually warm weather pattern here for about the next five to seven days. What you're looking at right now is the current amount of precipitation now that has fallen over the last 30 days. So basically through the month of September now and into these early couple of days of October. And this is the percent of normal. Okay, so what you see in the oranges and reds here now, this is precipitation that is well below normal over the last 30 days. And really what this is showing you is that much of the country is below normal for precipitation. The only area in the Midwest that is above normal is eastern Iowa, northern Illinois, and portions of southern Wisconsin. Other than that, everybody is pretty much starved for moisture. There are some little pockets here in southern Minnesota, and you can see it here as we zoom in. Some pockets that have received uh, at least a decent amount of precipitation. It came in one big shot just a week or two ago, but for the most part, much of Minnesota parched and we need rain, and look at this, even portions of northwestern Minnesota, eastern North Dakota, only about 10% of what normally falls in the way of rain has fallen the last 30 days. So we need rain, and I've got bad news for you, at least over the next five to seven days, it looks like it's gonna be dry through the stretch. And then probably some good news as we head into early next week. This is the visible satellite loop now over the upper Midwest. And just for geographic reference, here's the Twin Cities Metro right here. And you can see we have a, a push of clouds now with a very weak front moving across Minnesota. This front really isn't going to do much. In fact, our temperatures aren't going to change much at all with the passage of this front. In fact, we may even warm up a little bit as a little bit more as we go into tomorrow, and I'll show you that in the extended forecast. But all it's going to do is provide just a little bit of cloud cover here this evening and overnight. But then look at our air mass for tomorrow. For the most part, plenty of sunshine tomorrow, and I think that's going to be the case for much of this week as dry Canadian air continues to dominate. Look at the jet stream at 30,000 feet. This is the river of air at 30 to 35,000 feet. And look at this powerhouse jet stream now surging into the northwestern portion of the United States and then continuing to move east and southeast into the upper Midwest. We're talking winds at about 150 to 160 knots. So hence one of the reasons why we're windy today and are going to be windy here uh, for several of the next five to seven days is because of this strong jet stream. But it's also separating cold air here over eastern Canada from warm air over much of the western United States. Now watch what happens to this jet stream as we go through time. You can see that the jet stream will be pushing east into the upper Midwest and, and, and actually surging well north of the United States as we go into later this week. Look at how the jet stream is well north and east of Minnesota. That's going to allow warm air to continue to surge into the upper Midwest, not only later this week, but take a look at this weekend. And this is for Sunday now. Look at how the jet stream is digging in a powerful trough. We call it a digging trough. And it's a big one. It's a, it's a trough that has strong winds with it digs over the western United States. That allows warm air to surge north into the upper Midwest. And eventually we're going to get some, finally get some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico to surge north into the upper Midwest also. In fact, by early next week, you can see we are in a favorable favorable position finally for some rain as we get on the nose of a jet stream of a powerful jet stream and a trough that starts to surge into the plain states as we get into early next week but really uh, the screaming message here is that it's going to be warm here for the next five to seven days in fact temperatures this weekend this is for saturday now this is for early afternoon saturday look at what the european computer model forecast shows for high temperatures early in the afternoon on saturday we're talking about upper 70s and low 80s by about noon or 1 p.m. on Saturday. And that's the same for Sunday. This is an amazingly warm air mass. Keep in mind, the average high temperature for this time of year should be right around 60 to 62 degrees. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about temps a good 15 to 20 degrees above normal as we get into this weekend. And, yeah, for those of you that are looking for precipitation, it looks like it's going to be dry over the upper Midwest. And you can see it here, dry through Sunday, of this coming weekend, but look at what happens. We finally, this is the GFS, the American Computer Model Guidance, we finally get substantial rains 
over much of Minnesota as we get into early next week. So something to look forward to for those of you that are, are screaming for, for rain here. Now, here's the extended forecast from Bring Me the News and Novak Weather. Look at just the beautiful week that we have up ahead here for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with temperatures well into the 70s all four days the way it appears. In fact, a beautiful day tomorrow. Breezy, but yes, high temperature in the mid to upper 70s. Um, so yeah, we are going to have temperatures above normal all week and into the weekend. In fact, I'm thinking 80s by Saturday and into Sunday of this weekend. And like I had said, with the strong jet stream nearby, we're going to have breezy conditions many of these days of the next five to seven days, which is quite usual when you start getting such a warm weather pattern in place for this uh, late in uh, in the fall as we start getting into late fall. All right, that's your uh, weather update from Novak Weather and Bring Me the News. We will be talking to everybody tomorrow.